Yo, yo. Hello. Hi, guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, We're going to wow. talk about abortion news every single day until we run out of abortion news, but we never will. <laughs> so let's kick it off. Operation Save Abortion, or OSA. Please call it OSA when you're talking about it. I have a lot of people here who have a lot of stories that they want to cover. Mm -hmm. Who's going to start? I'll go first. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Molly? I got Molly's one. Molly's going first. Hey, Molly. Hey. Uh, okay. Spotted. Yeah. Good. Good job. Yeah, That's thank very you very much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I spotted a bill uh, reintroduced in California uh, that would require health centers of public universities to provide the abortion pill. But wait, wait. I thought that already happened. It did. This is being reintroduced. It was vetoed by former Governor Jerry Brown. More yeah. garbage Democrat. You know, this yeah. is, yeah, Governor Jerry Brown, supposedly liberal Democrat, done some good things, but shockingly, when it comes to abortion and dudes and Democrats who go, it's a wedge issue, mm -hmm. they don't understand. Uh, they make up some weird reason because they don't understand the profundity of the human rights of abortion. So I'm curious what his excuse was when he vetoed it. Yeah, um, this is a direct quote from him. Uh, he said the average distance to abortion providers in campus communities varies from five to seven miles, not an unreasonable distance. That's what he said, which is a double negative first. Um, and I guess his reasoning is if you like have a friend with a zip car subscription, that's good enough. Why do we have to provide it on campus? Just hitch a ride. Or everybody get pregnant at once and split the cost of an Uber. I feel like that should be law proposed. That's what a man would propose. Yeah. Why don't all the women just get pregnant at once so you can car do karaoke abortion carpool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not to mention zip car, no one remembers their password. Never, so not ever. Never, and never. also, you live on a college campus and you're broke. Yeah. yeah. So it's why should you have to travel? This is where they're so fucking stupid. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's also, it's like saying, like, Amazon exists. Let's get rid of the library, which, to be fair, they probably want to do. <laughs> I think that, is, that, is, that does seem like their logic. Oh, so, yeah. So the new governor he will pass it this time, do you mean think? We're hoping. We're hoping. Okay. He hasn't oh, said right? any public statement on it yet, but... All right. Okay. Got a chance. All right. We'll post okay. a link in the comments. Who's yeah. next? I'm next. Uh, mine is sort of good news, which is nice. Oh, it's interesting. Like, it is. Yeah, it is less hot garbage. Wait, it's not. We have a mission statement. Garbage. I know garbage. 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 There is still there's still garbage. There is garbage. Okay. Um, but it's so okay. In 2017, Trump amended Obamacare uh, so that it said. Um, <laughs> Chiron. 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 Just a real three quick. second um, roll for TV. Three One, second roll. two, three. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. So, uh, in 2017, <laughs> Trump amended uh, Obamacare to protect the conscience rights of employers, which is a bullshit phrase. Uh, when so, the conscience rights, what do you mean? Like they, like, like so that they didn't have to offer birth control. So because he, it was against their, because it was against their religious beliefs. Because corporations are religions now. Oh. Also, you know, separation of church and state. No one has a thing about that. Um, who cares? Uh, just our founding fathers. But um, <laughs> so he said that they didn't have to provide birth control, and a judge in California just um, said that in fact they do still have to provide. Um, birth control, but only in 13 states. So a federal judge that a was federal based judge in California? In California, no. yes, mm -hmm. um, said that they do have to. And so it's 13 states and the District of Columbia. Um, mm -hmm. But that's only 13 states. So that's yeah. the good news. The garbage that, yeah. part is. The yeah. garbage part is like 37. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 37. Uh, okay. That's, that's a solid math right Solid there. math. Uh, still cannot provide uh, women with birth control if they oh, just don't yeah. want to. Jesus. Also, you know, these fucking corporations are people, and now corporations are religious. If corporations are people, we need Planned Parenthood more than ever. Yeah. Like, I feel like yeah. you need to take yeah. birth control to stop making more corporations. <laughs> <laughs> Corporate control. Corporate control. Um, okay, good. So it, I wonder, like, I want to follow up. Let's uh, let's follow up on that and see if other if these other thirty seven states will be like, wait a minute. I want we want in on that free birth control action big for the whores. That yeah. we are. Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. Let's get the whores on. Who's yeah, next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, if you if Thanos snaps his finger and you don't disappear, you're not a. You're a corporation. I'm sorry. Corporations yeah, 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 don't yeah, yeah. disappear when they snap. The ultimate test. I have something yeah. kind of cool, uh, very important. Show uh, and tell. Are you going to eat a donut? Uh, I am going to eat Okay, donut. never mind. All right, then I'll go to my story. Oklahoma, we all know Oklahoma's trying to criminalize abortion. Again. Again. They had a rally over the weekend, and we have... Was that powerful? Was it powerful? We have a copy of their flyer. Oh, oh very God. powerful. Let me show you their flyer, first of all. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Oh, my Isn't God. Isn't that amazing? What century are we in? Oh, my no, God. No, like, that's amazing. No, because I love, like, 
First of all, you know what everyone with a uterus loves uh, is a public lecture. Yes, and right? snake imagery. No, I love this. It's like if Annie Oakley got a tramp stamp tattoo. <laughs> a forced, a forced tramp stamp. And here's where it's, here's where it's Keep Oklahoma. They spelled one of the presenters' names wrong. So it's oh, perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, my God. The well, rally was, was like brought to you by this place called Free the States and like this Ecclesia for Oklahoma, which spelled with two Ks, one short, but uh, Ecclesia oh, and Ecclesia. Uh, yeah, Ecclesia they, uh, with Ks? Yes. Wow. Yes, that, that's hardcore. Um, sure yeah, so all guys, things. all guy presenters, and one of them even talked about wanting to close down these child sacrifice centers. Oh, wait, that, I know. Oh, I, no, this is, so here's what's fascinating. So how many people at the rally? Like, about would 40, you say? About 40, 40 white people. 40 white folks. 40 white people. It was so a big, that, it was a po that poster a big is rally. like, is like sh I would go to a, that. If I saw that poster, I'd go. Because mm. it's so rad. Yeah. But here's the thing. This Joseph Silk who is a state senator in Oklahoma. Oh, Historically, I feel like all he's done in the state senate is propose anti-abortion bills. Mm -hmm. He proposes like, doctors should go to jail, it's a felony, you should get the death penalty for abortion. Like, it's so wild that he just never stops no. doing it. So he's bald and he looks like a fetus and he's worried. He's right, has this bill been introduced or are they trying to drum up support for it? Uh, they're trying to drum up support for it. And okay. there's another rally in, Feb in February a two-day rally in Oklahoma in February to try and travel. They should support. call it that time of the month to have a rally <laughs> to a press yeah. and right. people who have abortions. Um, so, the, Abby, you're, you're going to yes. close out. What we do you got? Out. So, um, we are still waiting from the Supreme Court to hear all the cases uh. that they're going to hear this year. Yeah, and I know. The ones is, that we care about. The ones that we care about. One of the most important cases that we care about is this um, Indiana law requiring fetal burial after miscarriages. And abortions. And abortions. And, abor yeah. and abortions. Yes, obviously. Uh, and yeah, so, we were supposed to hear Friday, and then we didn't, and we're still kind of waiting. It's like we have the waiting period before the bill is even passed. So, right. Abby, I feel like mm -hmm. this bill has been in like 800 states and then shut down by courts oh, in like yeah. a bunch of other states. Yes, it's it's been shut down in at least four other states, uh, including Texas and Ohio and a few others, ones that... You're the like, the, 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 yeah, the fun ones. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, come on, they've been shut down in these very anti-abortion states. Indiana, what are you doing? Well, I think Indiana is one of the is one of the few states. I know Texas didn't have the miscarriage part in. Yes. And the garbage part of this really is that you you start putting these. First of all, bear, having a funeral and burying your fucking medical waste. Is that where we want to go? Mm -hmm. I don't think this is the hill the Supreme Court wants to die on. <laughs> yes, good <laughs> job, Abby. Forgot it. Um, but also, think about it. You have a medication abortion, which is the pill. Um, you're not having your abortion at a clinic. If you have a miscarriage, which I've had abortions and miscarriages, didn't have my miscarriage at a clinic, mm -hmm. um, but did go for follow-ups for both. Yeah. So you put a law in place that yeah. says you have to bury or cremate medical waste, once that starts expanding to the patient, which it will, mm -hmm. think of the people who are gonna be afraid to go in for follow-ups, to have their uteruses cleaned out. Think of the toxicity and the danger that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. These fucking people. This is yeah. just garbage patriarchy at its finest. It's garbage. Yeah. You can't schedule a miscarriage. That's not how it works. No, that's not how it works. Nope. I know. So, good job today. We're gonna to put the links to all this stuff uh, in our in our notes, and we're also going to um, do a little blog post on LadyPartsJusticeLeague.com. Uh, we want to close out today's show with a shout out to the Feminist Flag Corps in Ohio. Yeah, who yes. woo, woo, went to counter protests. They went to counter protests at the uh, at the March for Life rally in Chicago, and sometimes a picture says all the words, and this photo that we're going to post in our comments is going to. Make you pee in your pants. Also, just FYI, Mike DeWine, the new garbage governor of Ohio, who was the one who said that Planned Parenthood steam cooks fetuses instead of just sanitizing medical waste. Yeah. Let's call it steam cooking fetuses. Was uh, was sworn in today on look at my face, nine Bibles. He's just so <laughs> religious. He was literally swore himself in on yeah. nine Bibles. It might be because he is a hobbit and needed yeah. to stand on eight uh -huh. of them while he was swearing into one. I don't know. Uh -huh. But um, that is today's Repro News at OSA, Operation Save Abortion, yeah. where our mission is to save abortion. We will see yes. you tomorrow at noon. Bye. Bye. Bye.